Don't Tell Mama, but the national tour of directors Sam Mendes and Rob Marshall's Tony Award-winning revival of Cabaret is hitting the road this winter. We're here at the show's rehearsal studios in New York City to find out how beautiful life is inside the Cabaret. <laughs> So tell me, how much fun are you having playing the MC? I'm starting to have a really good time. <laughs> I'm I'm really excited to have audiences to tease and and have to talk to. Um, I think it's going to be thrilling to take it around the country. Leave your troubles outside. So life is disappointing. Yeah. Forget it. We have no troubles here. Here. Life is beautiful! The material is so amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's a time of great political turmoil, but um, inside the Kit Kat Club, it's just an exciting place. And the thing that makes this so special are not only the, the iconic songs like Willkommen and maybe This Time, but the fact that the audience really feels in this particular production like they are part um, of the Kit Kat Club. It is such an immersive show you know the the MC really interacts his his you know scene partner is the audience and to have that I think is such a different experience and it allows the audience to kind of relax and join in more so I don't know there's something so different and unique about this experience it does things that very few musicals do um, just in, in the way that form and content sort of marry um, what's happening politically sort of mirrors the way in which everything is staged I love the fact that it's a show that nobody in their right mind, mind should have done. Uh, at the time we did it, uh, this type of musical was not welcome on Broadway. Your characters go on such an emotional journey throughout the show without ever stepping foot inside the Kit Kat Club. But why is their story just as important to the show overall? It's the counterpoint to the Kit Kat Club. The great thing about Schneider and Schultz to me is that it turns the idea of a traditional romance on its head and the young beautiful couple are cynical and compromised and the older couple who have been through it all and are entitled to be cynical are idealistic and truly romantic and speaking out of love. Yeah, there's an inside and outside world to the show, which I think is so brilliant on the part of the creators. And the inside is, is I think, of uh, as us, you know, the traditionalists, the old world people, the people who want things to stay the same. And the outside is the world that's coming, the political turmoil that's going to explode onto the scene and change everyone's lives. You get to see people really doing so many things, singing, dancing, acting, playing instruments and it's just a really exciting thing to watch. You're going to be enriched, you're going to be moved, it's going to mean something to you. You get to show you'll be thinking about for years and years and years after you've seen it. The cast is brilliant, the music is brilliant, the writing is incredible, the staging, the dancing, I don't I can't pick apart the whole thing because I feel like the entire show is just so special and unique. It's got beautiful girls, it's got great mm -hmm. music, and it's got love. And that's what a musical, those are, <laughs> those are magic ingredients, right? Hooray! 